so in this module we will look at the remaining key differences between java and javascript in the previous module we looked at four key differences but now we look at the remaining six six key differences remember it's the key differences there are and there can be other differences also but we are just focusing on the key differences so as to differentiate how javascript is different from java okay so uh, this is the coverage of this module write once run anywhere which is very true for java but not for javascript i will explain block versus function based scoping okay what is the scope of the variable which is different in java versus javascript constructors null pointer exception because in javascript we are not allowing the application as a matter of fact it is a choice of the client the user to allow javascript to run or not so this exception is not going to happen because javascript is not going to access the main memory applicability and inheritance so these are the key differences which i'll be talking in this module write once run anywhere platform independence of java why platform independence of java because java is byte code that byte code runs on theoretically on every platform okay and the look and feel of the application the functionality everything is consistent everything is consistent right independent of the platform but that is not the case for javascript because javascript is browser dependence it is browser dependence whether it's uh, netscape navigator which is like outdated it's explorer it is it is uh, chrome it is firefox the the developer has no control how things are going to be looking how they're going to work okay unless they use jquery unless they use jquery so traditionally it is not the case for javascript that write once run anywhere then is the block versus function based scoping java using block based approach because as the domain changes the scope is limited not outside the domain that is not the case for javascript because javascript we have these local variables and we have global variables and there is the precedence of variables in javascript which is not the case for java so javascript in in this context has a certain amount of flexibility constructors java constructors are in chaining but it is just another function in javascript as opposed to java big difference there is no null pointer exception in javascript why because in javascript uh, the application is not allowed to access the main memory even by an error also so there is no since there is no allowance so there is no such exception javascript is dynamically typed that i've already discussed that the type of the variable is not fixed as opposed to java with the type of the variable is set at the compile time and it remains unchanged that is not the case for javascript okay and finally the two differences applicability java is everywhere java is everywhere on all devices theoretically okay but javascript is limited to html and css very very limited domain of javascript as compared to java java has classes and inheritance javascript has no classes technically okay theoretically and it is just prototype based javascript is prototype based that is not the case for java so that's all i have for this module